Well, hello. It's me, Mustard. Mustard doing some things in the kitchen. Oh, it's going to be a rather exciting evening for me. Maybe even for you. We'll see. Might be wonderful. Might be super duper. Might be awful. Whatever the case. It could be so bad that it's good. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Tonight, um, after a little discussion about what to do, I am going to make pizza because there's still some dough left over. So this dough has been sat in this bowl at room temperature for two whole days. It is going to stink, but it is also going to taste lovely. So before I crack on with this, one second, one second. Is that better or is that worse? Come on, light. That's better, isn't it? All over light. Let's see who is here with me tonight so far. If I can find my glasses, I can't find them. Oh no. No, that would be a disaster. If I can't find my oh, there they are. <clears throat> I was ready to go into a panic then, without even knowing what was going on. Oh gosh, imagine that, eh? Imagine that indeed. <laughs> Dude, that's rather stupid, rather silly, rather silly thing of me to do, isn't it? And I, I promise I won't do it again. Let's, gosh, there's loads of people here already. Barry Scrotter, a good variety of beer this evening in the thumbnail. Yes. Bought by my friend, indeed, and um, I shall have every permission now to have a beer tonight because I haven't even paid for them, so I'm very much looking forward to that. Oh, look, classic Britain, Sheldon. Sheldon is here or was here. I wonder if he still is. If you are, make yourself known. The guy from SETI Alpha 5 is here as well. Good afternoon. How are you all? Uh, good evening, chat. Good evening, Mustard Hope. Everything is tickety boo, says Tracy. And let's move down because we have. Oh, hello, all. I am your resident moderator, running on coffee tonight as the fine where we appears to have drunk all mine last night while I was busy. That's terrible, isn't it? Mystic Hair, is he going to sup all? Uh, all those beers in the thumbnail. Nah. Well, not during a live stream anyway. I mean, it might be might be quite cool to have one, maybe even two. You never know. Oh, gosh, I see how daring I'm going to be. Sam is here. Hello, Che. Hello, Che. Chat? Yes, of course. Hello, hello. Andrew Buttigy as well. A very good evening, Mustard, and everyone in the chat. Uh, Jeannie. Greenie. Oh, Greenie. I see, I see. Slay Bestie. Oh, Cars with JC is here as well. And now somebody must have gone because there's only seven people watching currently. So uh, I'm, I'm sure I've already listed more than seven people. But I will crack on with doing something in a moment mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm rather excited by this. In fact, I'm so excited. I am just going to eat a chilli. The best way of finding out how spicy they are is to eat one. And I'll know whether this is too too chilly to go on the pizza if I just eat it. A uh, skid bitty toilet queen thing. Oh, yeah. On the t shirt, Pat Mustard. Pat Mustard from the um, the classic nineties sitcom Father Ted. One of my favourites. Thank you. Thank you very much, Greenwood. Yes. Um, hi, Mustard. How's it going? Well, we'll find out quite soon, won't we? Maybe, maybe it'll be going rather fabulously. Maybe it'll be. No, I don't know. Pinga Concordia is here as well. Evening, Custard. How was your day? Mustard. Custard. Must not mustard. Must uh, Mustard. Mustard. Not custard. Well, I'll be honest with you, and I don't want to bore you with this. It wasn't the best day ever. It was just raining all day. So I started off doing some cleaning up in the lockup and got distracted. Um, but, but, my friend, my friend Peter came round and he brought some beer. So that is good. And he took some seats. He took the seats that 
were brought round by my friend Smashing Pistons, which is good because that's another thing out of the way. Hi Joe, hi Barry, hi Joe, hi Barry, hi Barry, hi Joe Ball. Who are the people that haven't liked yet? Always liked on <laughs> stream and enjoy. Oh, well, there's a few, I suppose. Cl colon cleanser. <laughs> colon cleanser. <laughs> uh, do you have merch? If you don't, can I make you some uh, pizzies? Pizzies. What's pizz? Oh, please. Uh, yeah, you could, you, could, you could do. I haven't got any merch. Certainly not for this channel at the moment, anyway. Sabrina is here. Hello, Mustard. Hello. He hasn't reached that level yet, but maybe in a few months, let's hope. I certainly do hope. It would be rather good, wouldn't it? Hello, Captain Mustard. All one word. Brilliant. Thank you very much. And look, the numbers are going up. The numbers are going up. That means I'm going to have to stand up and start doing something useful any moment now. Uh, pinpoint your location, Pops, say Sam. Uh, no, not Samsung. Smashed Nook. And I don't know what that means. Um, I need new content for my live leak channel, whatever that happens to be. Not sure what you mean, so you're going to have to explain that a little bit better, otherwise I won't really be able to answer you. That chilli, by the way, was quite a spicy one. Um, so, it might be just right for the pizza, but I'll need more than that, and I've eaten most of that one already, which means I'm going to have to find another one anyway. Um, Riley Peaty, hi. Uh, oh, Hitler's in the house. I thought he was dead, mate. Uh, what's up, dude? Do you like my PFP? Well, I don't know what PFP is, but so I best not say yes or no. Uh, don't dox people, please. Dox, don't dox. Don't. All right, so uh, Smash Nug says I'm dead, which is kind of makes the live stream quite difficult. I reckon you need to address that first before asking for any ideas or advice or help on how you could do it better. Come back alive. Uh, oh, a PFP is a profile picture. Um, oh, <laughs> right. Okay, now, so what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Uh, well, I'm going to do this any second right now. Ah, oh, right, I see. Docs mean giving away personal information. What? On other people. Right, okay, well, why would anybody do that? I mean, that would be silly, wouldn't it? If anybody asks for any information like that, on here, you just don't give it. You really shouldn't do. That's not what, that's not what this live stream or any live stream should be about. Now, so, oh, well, right. glasses off the... The dough, the smelly dough. Well, there's not really very much there, but will it end up? It does have to be like a rather uh, thin pizza. Personally, ah, those are my favourites. But uh, they're not the most filling. Everything okay? No. What's up? I can't find those screw ties. Oh. No idea where they are. Well, I'll have peanut cashews. It's probably going to be enough, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Why did I do that? I made a dreadful mistake of putting it on my hands before having flour on my hands. That was rather, rather silly of me. A very silly mistake indeed. Let's try and rectify that. I want to try and get the the most of this dough as well because there isn't that much of it and I'm not even in shot here am I? So there's a bit still stuck to the stainless steel pot thingy. Get it all out. There you go. Flour on the digits, let's get a bit more. Get flour on your digits and then of course you can you can actually do this job a bit more properly. And even sticking to the greaseproof paper. How rude. How rude indeed. Oh, oh where? Right, hang on, what am I doing now? What I need next um, is a rolling pin. And the trouble is, oh, I've got And the trouble is, I've already got flowery hands. So. <laughs> do you want me to do it? Yes, please. <laughs> 
And I don't want to be in trouble for making the draw with ginger powder or something like that. So, um, let's put some flour on the rolling pin as well. Oh gosh, that's my wife. It's 73 people are here with me this evening. That's more like what we expect. Last night wasn't what you call a flop, but it definitely wasn't as busy as normal. And there may be a few reasons for that, all of which are far too complicated to understand, like most things in life. Now, if, if you like a round pizza, you can make a round pizza, but actually they're not that easy to do, unless you've got the hand of this kind of twirling thing, where you get your thing, you, you thin it out a little bit, and you spin it around in your digits like that, and then you can kind of get it to work. But the thing is, that isn't round anyway, is it? So that would mean it's the wrong shape. So it's best off just being whatever shape you happen to roll it out to be. And you usually find that Australia is kind of the right shape for a pizza. And of course, pizza is traditional in Australia as well, because that's where it actually came from. Now, um, let me just move some of this dusty stuff and I'll just go and wash my dabs. Wash them very, very quickly. All throughout the seats where I'm washing my hands, washing my hands with a little bit of water. Water holds the greatest salt and wipe. Yeah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> so as we have that particular part of the task already sorted, we can put the flour away and we can put this in the sink with some more water to help dissolve the flour. Because flour is a rather sticky old thing that does need quite a bit of uh, whatever it needs a bit of. Dissolving. Now, to do this properly, to do this absolutely properly, what you would do, and what you should do, is just leave that to rest. Because although, whilst it's in the oven, it will rise, it rises a bit more, all by itself, just like that. So that's what I'm going to do. So, making a pizza in a live stream is kind of perfect, don't you think? And that means that I have another opportunity to come sit down. Sit. I was going to look in there for my glasses then. And you know what? They're nice in there because they're on my bonds. Let's see where we got to with these comments. Gosh, quite a lot actually. An awful lot, in fact. Uh, all right, that's where we got to. Thomas the Tank Engines, oh, right. Uh, mate, you got a, mate, you got a moderator, uh, a guy with a logo profile picture. Huh? I, I, don't know, I don't know what that means. Uh, any request for Office of Personal Information will be zapped by myself anyway, says the Greenwood. And that is exactly what moderators should be doing. And that's why the Greenwood is so good at being a moderator. Now, uh, it's lay bestie, I can't read that. Uh, people are entitled to their opinions. Uh, but I'm not sure what that was about. I must have missed something there as well, which is likely. Uh, I don't know what docs means, but I'm not down with the kids, says Mystic Hair. No. And why do you need to be? I think, actually, as uh, older people trying to be down with the kids... Um, is probably um, somewhat unfortunate and sad. So let's not do it. About tea and coffee and beer. Oh. Every day is a second school day, Greeny. Every day is a school day. We love a good rolling pin. What are we cooking? Pizza, bread, pizza equals bread. Yes, it's going to be a lovely... Uh, there is enough dough there. It's going to be a lovely, very, very uh, flavoursome pizza because I've got a chilli and then I've got a bag of chilies. Um, now, would I be entirely stupid if I put the whole bag on? Yes, I would. 
I'm going to put some red pepper, parts of it. I'm next going to do some uh, the, the tomato salt a bit, which isn't just the puree, no. Now you need a bit more to it. That be, would be particularly tasty. And some cheese, of course. Cheese as well. Um, the meme zone. Uh, how did a Rob, Roblox troll end up here? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what. I still don't know. It's a game, isn't it? It's a game that, that probably no grown-up ever plays. Anyone wants to be my guinea pig for the new live leak video? Um, no. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, maybe somebody does. But my mum upset me because I broke her rolling pin. <laughs> Uh, what's a live leak video? Yes, I want to know the same thing. That I love camping. I love camping. Cool. Uh, Akela says, cook. Yes, I'm craving pizza now. You will be by the time it's finished, I can tell you. That flower bag looks like a cat face. I'm going to put it away now, haven't I? So uh, I probably would have ended up agreeing with you as well had they seen that. Um, uh, what an emission of mustard gas. Uh, no, no, I don't think I did any then. No, oh no, I did some today. Similarly, you know, on pizza, uh, yes, okay, I, I, that was one from the other day. Um, but it'd be just right without it anyway. I, I won't really need it. Barry Scrotty, yes. Uh, no, don't put the cat away. Crazy Cat is here. Hello, Captain, hello. Good Mr. Ginger Cat Face. It's me. Uh, more... Stuff I don't quite under get, understand or get. Underget, that's the new word for me. Yeah? I'm going to be uh, somebody who comes up with new words for other people to try and understand. And then, you know, that they can feel somewhat silly for not getting it. So, underget. Uh, I don't underget that. I don't underget what that is. You are so slay bestie. No idea. No idea. I probably don't even want to know. I do it all the time whilst using the outdoor, pe outdoor pizza thingy. I'm a jump off a window. I had enough night, everyone. Okay, right. Okay, let's let's not say stuff like that. Thanks to you. Right, I'm back. I'm back. You cook. Yes, I do. Boo, 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 coiter. My great grandpa was a Nazi commanding officer in World War Two. Oh, okay. Um, that's not the kind of thing you'd normally tell everyone about, but I mean, obviously, somebody will be. The Palestinian ninja. Mm. Aria KP. Yes, I am British. Thank you. Anybody knows how to open a locked window? <laughs> I'll run out quicker just to go down the stairs and just sit down there for a while. Sit at the bottom of the steps and look up at the window and think, would that have been a good idea? Because you'll probably find once you give it 10 minutes, you'll realise it's, it's not. And it's definitely not a good idea telling people about it on here. It's not like anyone can help you, is it, really? You know, people on the live stream, and me included, can help with um, uh, how to deal with certain things in life, but that's not going to work. I'm going to head out. I fancy you lie down. Good to see you all. He's going to head out. He is. He is. Okay, the guy from SETI Alpha 5 is going. Knight Barry, thank you. Sean BB, hi. Slay, great. Bestie, friend. Ah, right. Slay. Slay's great. A great friend. Well, that's interesting. Ex preppy girls. You look like you look old, but in a good way. Well, there's no way that you can look, um, you know, if you are old, there's no real getting around it. And it's always in a good way, isn't it? I do you mean like not knackered? <laughs> yeah, well, thank you anyway. Uh, Nard. C Hi, can I sub? asks. Uh, it's mir mir miracle. That's miracle. Yes, you can subscribe. Of course you can. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd actually like everyone to subscribe. I'd like everyone to like the live stream as well, but I keep on asking that and often people don't, so I'm not going to bang on about it too much. In fact, uh, I'll... I'll um, I'll make sure I don't mention it any more than five or six times during the course of this live stream. You've got to hammer the bottom corners. I have a friend who's 107 years old and she lives in a nursing home and she's so funny. Well, that's 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 a lovely story. Uh, that's the kind of thing that I like to read, actually, because like sometimes older people can be really funny. In fact, you look at it this way. Uh, Whoever you are at the moment, as you get older, you're only going to become more amusing. You're going to become wizened. 
you're going to become more interesting and just because your face starts to creak a bit doesn't mean that people won't like you. No, it means the other it kind of means the opposite, really. What kind of watch is it? Oh, thank you. It's is it shall I call you it's miracle? Um <clears throat> Sorry, it's a bad place. It will be triggering others. That's kind of the thing, really, isn't it? Um, don't. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That didn't last long, did it? You're very diplomatic. Greeny says, music hair. Greeny, yes. Very diplomatic indeed. And that is exactly why the Greenwood is so suitable to this job. And why I appreciate it so much. I wonder what happened to Sheldon. It would have been nice having another big YouTube person on the go here, wouldn't it? Uh, well, I mean, I don't expect anybody to stay, but, you know, it's, it's fun. But right, where am I going with this? Now, I have my bread. Um, let's do... This is the exciting part. This is one of the most exciting parts, which is preparing the tomato sauce. And you want to know why? You're going to ask why. You may want to ask anyway. So, what do you need for this? Well, I've done this one in a previous live stream as well. You need ketchup. Ketchup. Gosh. You don't need ketchup. You definitely don't need ketchup, but what you do need tomato puree, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and basil and oregano. That's that's kind of the traditional way, and then a bit of water in there as well, mixed up. Oh yeah, I've got a pizza short seven time, I forgot about that. So anyone who's really interested could view that. A bit more. I'd recommend it. I'd recommend watching that indeed. And so that's the amount of tomato puree I'm putting in there. I like herbs, I like the taste of herbs. So there's a nice amount of basil in there, and then oregano. You'll have a nice amount of that as well. And it's lovely and fragrant as well, of course. So there, there is uh, that. Now, next job. Balsamic vinegar, of course. Uh, is it? Not sure what we do about that. Hmm. Oh, shh. If the sound isn't particularly good, that might just be down to uh, the internet uh, speed or something just at this very moment. Which I don't think I can help really, unfortunately. Now there we go, balsamic vinegar, and a bit of olive oil. I could put a microphone on, but that wouldn't make any difference to the internet. So, there's no point in that. Internet and it's still buffering. Well, maybe it'll just sort itself out in a bit. Well, I'm going to add a bit of water to this. And then, of course, what we need to do is simply mix it up. Mixy, mixy. Until it looks like that. It's a lovely kind of dark red base. And then we're going to have to... Oh, I'm not buffering anymore. We did magic. Somebody did magic. It must have been. Must have internet speed. Internet speed never going to be uh, consistent. Um, oh, Black Lines is here. Ah, oh, that reminds me as well in a moment. Um, I forgot to do all chat, didn't I? 
And I forgot to put it on all chat, which means that there may well be somebody getting annoyed for me not talking to them, and I'd, I'd hate that to happen from now. Oh, Tyler, Tyler's here. Well, I'll come to that in one second. I'm just going to slap this stuff on here. Uh, then I'll, I'll read a few more comments out, and then I'll go on to the next step. Pizza. Now, would you eat pizza every day? Most people wouldn't. But when you're making it yourself, you uh, you probably could do. But is it, you know, is it bad for you or is it good for you? It can't really be good for you, can it? But it's probably not as bad for you when you make it yourself and you shape it into Australia. Uh, I mean, that really does look like Australia. It would be fantastic, actually, too. Yeah. It would really make a point of it. But it's kind of Australia-shaped. If then, I got to an iron fat and cut it, you know, looked at the map so I could get it all correct and detailed it, and then used different ingredients to actually add some Australian detail, of which there's not masses, is there, for the majority if you left uh, the bits bare that were just desert, it would be mostly just bread. <laughs> uh, another little sit down doesn't take long, does it? Eh? Uh, yes. Oh, all right. So that's where we got to the sound buffering, which. Um, which, are, which the green would message me about. But honestly, probably, I, I hope it's gone, because that really isn't something I can do anything about. Uh, Hi, Captain, it's me again, says Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Yep, the sound is buffering. Mr. Mustard, your voice is buffering. <laughs> I want to fix the mic. Um, bit of Norman Collier mustard is the connection. Yes, gluten tag. Oh, guten tag, uh, says Germany. I thought, actually, you know, because because it's bread, I thought you did actually say gluten. Everybody's sound wasn't really particularly good. Let's see if he reads the comments. Yes, well, I, I did do it. God, how, how long did it take? That must have happened just as I started getting back to this, which which means that um, it is quite useful to read comments, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. Uh, I have a full internet. Yep, it works now. Oh, OMG, it's fixed now. Good. I'm so happy about that. So happy. Pity everyone's gone in the meantime. Uh, yeah, the sound is bad because I'm standing outside a signal jammer. Ah, right. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> he wasn't going to show his face, but he wanted to just admit what he was doing there. Which, um, obviously, is good. Right, good, that's sorted. I refresh the button. That, that, maybe that's sometimes all you've got to do. That looks good already. Well, it. Um, what does it look like now? Um, it looks, well, like quite big. Then Australia is big, isn't it? For some reason, I put cheese on my pizza, put the toppings on, and then put more cheese on. I also do this with cheese and ham toasties. I have like, oh, right, that's a very, very big number of uh, pieces of cheese there, actually. Thank you, Sabrina. Dan Peters is here. Hello, Captain Mustard. My question of the day is English or French mustard? Well, I like the one that's kind of in between, which is Dijon, which is still French, isn't it? But that, to me, I think is the, the perfect mustard. Well, maybe it depends, really. Uh, Dijon is good for most things. English mustard. If you're going to have beef, I think you need English, don't you? Well, either that or horseradish. Quite big. That's what he's... Quite big. That's what she said. Uh, yeah, that's right. And Hannah, it's back again. So he went away and then came back. I like American mustard. What's American mustard? Is American mustard... I bet it's really mild, isn't it? I like your accent. It's nice to listen to, says Gabby Pat. Well, thank you. Oh, is that Gabby Pat? Thank you very much. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel and like the live stream. <laughs> that will help. 
Uh, guess my country says harsh. Uh, India. <laughs> uh, was it India? No. Well, I can't remember. I'm, I don't, I'm not guessing. I'm just trying to remember what it was from yesterday. Unless it's somebody else called harsh. It might be. You never know. Well, I don't. Do we need to harsh? Do we? Yes. Yes, you do. We have to. Yes. Yes, we do. You have no choice. You have to guess it. Otherwise, we can't move on. Uh, hi, what do you remember about me? Asks Hannah. Uh, that you're in Scotland and you are 31 years old. Did I do okay? Uh, who's the... What is the greatest country food producer, in your opinion? <clears throat> Spain, probably. Spain do an awful lot of uh, things, don't they? It's the right climate for growing things, anyway. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Should I carry on? Should I just carry on? Oh, God. God, blimey, the old burps are coming back at me. And at um, a quarter past nine, I've not been going that long, only 31 minutes, but I'm already thinking about those beers that I've bought for me. That's so fabulous. I'm going to have one quite soon, but should I do uh, the usual thing where I have to earn it first? American mustard is the most bland. Mustard name is wasted on it. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm sure it's got mustard seeds in it. I'm in Spain right now, says Hannah. Oh, right. Oh, right. cool. Uh, you should make some merch. You could make mustard ashtrays or mustard enemas. <laughs> uh, on holiday, yes. Very good. <clears throat> mustard on a pork pie is excellent. Yes, it is. It is indeed. It's funny, actually, because it's not like a pork pie. Uh, you think it should be perfectly okay to eat as it is, but it's bland, isn't it? I mean, the pastry, if you've got a really nice molten, may ma molten maybury pork pie, the pastry is always going to be good, and the porky bit should be good as well. Ah, like cheap pork pies are just not really very good. They're supposed to be nice, crunchy, soft on the inside, good quality pork with jelly in as well. Even so, you can still improve it with a dab of mustard, and that just shows the power of mustard, doesn't it? Yes. It's 22.12 in Spain right now, says Hannah. That means that you are an hour ahead. Oh, an, oh 12, rather. Uh, yes, of course, you're only going to be an hour ahead. May I recommend citrus IPA to team with a pizza? You may. Who's the guy on the T-shirt? Asks Harsh. Well, again, this is... Pat Mustard, a rather interesting character from the sitcom Father Ted. Mustard in front of a, of my car. Uh, fun fact, Harsh is a common name in India. It's quite ironic, uh, meaning it's, it's quite ironic to its meaning in English. It means joy, excitement in Hindi. That is interesting. Pickled Branston, nice with a pork pie or piccalilli. Uh, I'm such a picky eater. I don't even like American mustard. Uh, though I said I do. Mm. Picky eating is never good. It's not good for you. It really isn't. The best thing to do. I mean, picky eating comes from just eating food that's all pretty much the same when you're young. And you don't really develop much of a palate. But you can change that. You can change it because everybody's free to just experiment and just try different things out. And it's what you should do. And once you start doing that, you're going to find that there is lots and lots of really interesting food out there. And that's why I have this terrible, what you might call, habit of just taking one thing and bumming it with something else to see if it works or not. Now, I'd have thought, what a stupid and terrible idea, putting mustard on a biscuit. But for some reason, it still it doesn't taste completely wrong. It's untraditional. It is a bit odd. But it just shows that you, you can't really go wrong once you start experimenting. Um, yeah, I find it's hard to get a decent pork pie nowadays, says Dan Peters. Go to Sainsbury's. Go to Sainsbury's. And they have all the good ones. Um, five eyes. 
says um, whatever that's supposed to be. Yeah, that's a bit of an odd one. Says, says, says. <laughs> What's game over? <laughs> right. Uh, Chef Wax produced it. Or Chef Wax produced it. Uh, ooh, brother, ooh, whatever that means. Chef Wax produced it. That's a good name. I quite like that. I'm going to give that one 7 out of 10. So you are honoured. Um, but, but the kids are in, says Mystic Hair. Well, yeah, that could be the case, which means that if they misbehave, they'll just get booted back out. So behave. Behave. And uh, you might find this isn't such a bad or terrible place to be after all. <sighs> it's annoying. There's an annoying one coming to Rochdale annual gland grabbing gland grabbing competition. <laughs> oh gosh, that wasn't good, was it? Kevin, Kevin Gentle, you got you got told off straight away for that utter nonsense. What a shame. Uh, you you don't have to go, but you could come up with something more useful. How many fish are there in your aquarium? There are about 37. And I say about because I've forgotten. Uh, I'm new here, says Afonso. Uh, welcome, Afonso. Uh, don't forget to like. Uh, that's meme, give reference to the guys being disgusted. Oh, okay. Is it? Bev Cole say pork pie with pickle and cheese. Little diddy ones in Tesco, finest and moist. Yes. Scream men, scream men, no balls. Yellow. What does that mean? No idea. Another one. Oop. The Fitness Hutch says evening. We love insane questions and comments, but they have to be funny or interesting, says the Greenwood. Exactly. Exactly. Everybody's welcome to say something a bit unusual, uh, ask a mad question. It all adds up to it being a more enjoyable thing to happen. Uh, but, but, you know, yeah, they have to be amusing. Pathos Bay. Hi, I joined the chat. Well done. Thank you for thank you for joining. Do stay. Do like the live stream. Uh, scream men or oh right. This uh, I see. You're asking me to scream men. Uh, scream men or else zero male genitalia. Now, how does that work? Right. So somebody's going to lose their nads unless I scream men. Is that what you're saying? That's that's quite suggestive. It's quite mean. Nobody could do that, really. Mr. X, I like the fish. Yes, me too. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah, thanks for getting rid of that one. Uh, Metrixium. Another joke. Uh, and that joke has been put in here, what, about 50 times so far. Um, you can't honestly still be finding it funny. Need some legal advice, can you help? Asks uh, young Pliff. Well, I could try, though it's not my expertise at all. They do look cool. Yeah, good glasses, yes. Uh, Imperial Officer Rid. Rid? Imperial Officer Rid. You! And Yellow says exactly. Well, uh, I'm not sure how you're going to actually administer this particular um, punishment to some poor chap who would actually like to keep his balls. But I'm not going to shout man. Why would I shout man? I thought it, you know, I could shout something much more imaginative than that, couldn't I? Hello, Cat Allen, the pick on the wall. What does the pick on the wall look like? Because lots of people seem to find it fascinating, and I don't really know why. It just looks like a, a, a snail to me, or a lip, or lips, or I don't know. Uh, hello, mate. Just let you know, I love, I have subbed and love chilling your channel. Thank you very much, much fast book. Thank you very much. And Pathos Bay says it's a cool shirt. It is a cool shirt. Do you want a closer look? You yeah, might as well, hadn't you? There we, there we go. Mustard approved is what it says on there, in case you um, misunderstand what it says on there. But I don't think you will, will you? I will get out. Uh, it's probably time to do a bit more stuff on this pizza any second now, isn't it? Uh, Freudian picture, me thinks. Uh, maybe you're right, but it wasn't supposed to be. The trouble is, with any picture, you can see something in it that isn't really supposed to be there, can't you? Uh, very cool. You're very cool, says uh, uh, Kamala. Thank you very much, Kamala Grant. 
Uh, are you Welsh? No, no, I'm not Welsh, but I'm not too far from Wales. In fact, only about 60 miles away uh, to, to Wales from here, which isn't that far, is it? Mustafa, Mustafa Tulligan. Hi, I like and sub now you give me mod. <laughs> <laughs> give you mod well thank you very much for subscribing please like the live stream and stay you may as well i never knew coffee was a drug well yes it has uh, it has a, a, an effect on on your mind uh there's a mild one and if you drink too much coffee it can make you ill and sick and um not be particularly good well too much of anything of course that applies to careful with the coffee Greetings, beautiful soul, says Squirrel Sniper. What a fantastic name that is, Squirrel Sniper. Yes, eight out of ten for that one. Thank you very much for joining. Spudgun, are you the Rizzler? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you, I like that one. I liked and sub. Thank you very much, Jack. Jack Lynch, how's your day? They, uh, it's, it's been a bit of a washout because of the rain and everything. But yeah, thank you very much, Jack. Excellent. Uh, okay, I like him, so I like and sub. Well, thank you, Mustafa. Coffee enemas. Yes. Which is faster, hot or cold? Uh, well, it depends on what you're doing with it, really, doesn't it? Do you mean what, what falls faster? Blimey, God, blimey, what's going on here? Uh, Court Van Daniels, hey, hello. Uh, K Boy, hi. Uh, user says, hi, I'm from Connecticut. And Zodiac King123, hi, hello. This is my first time joining the live uh, short. Uh, it says Pathos Boy, thank you. Well, you welcome me. Oh, yeah, uh, where are you from? Asks uh, Jack Lynch. I am in a place called Rochdale. Griffith, I'm dickhead. Well, there's nothing like actually getting to the point. If you if you know that's what the problem is, then you can deal with it right away. Well done. Well done, Griffith. Hot, I reckon. Depends on what you're doing. Uh, a Rizzler is a guy who gets a lot of girlfri uh, girlfriends using pun lines. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> uh, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you know what? I learned so much, uh, so much on these live streams that... I'm going to have to thank people a lot more often, I reckon. <clears throat> Can I please have mod? It's my dreams have mod one day. Do you mean a moderator? You want to be a moderator, Mustafa? Breathe so much oxygen, burst out. How come I combusted? <laughs> Dan Peters, what's the hottest spicy food you've ever eaten? It's going to be just a chilli, really. Like a really, uh, a naga chilli or something like that. Hot because you can't catch a cold. How many aquariums are, are your how many aquariums are your fish? What? <laughs> that pizza won't cook itself. No, it won't. No, it won't. Oh wow, nice. Yes. Okay. I've got, oh, wonderful horseshoe is here as well. You, you're absolutely right. I am going to have to. Um, I am going to have to just. Let you watch me do the pizza, aren't I? Because otherwise, like you say, it isn't going to cook itself. Uh, whether oh, I haven't even got the sharp knife out yet. Let's have the. Let's let's try and focus this on there then. That's what can we see? Can we see the chopping board? Yes, we can. We can see the red pepper being sliced up somewhat, and. Red pepper, mm, very sweet, isn't it? Who likes red pepper? I like green pepper, but it's not particularly nice when it's, well, uncooked. Whereas this is, it's a sweet pepper. I'm going to just liberally toss it about all over Australia. Um, and then go for the next ingredient, which will be on only part mm -hmm. of this pizza because it's a chili. And not everyone who's eating this pizza will want chili on it. I say not. There's only two people going to be eating this pizza. But that is me and the lady mustard. 
and she didn't like the chilies, which is, well, I mean, don't know why not really. What's wrong with chilies? Probably a lot if you don't like them. I haven't done a very good job of distributing that, but that will actually do. Oh, so this can go back in the fridge and this as well. And oh, right, um, and I'm going to get the cheese out. I'm also tempted to put uh, an onion, a bit of onion on it, because onion on pizza is actually really good. And somebody mentioned this the other day about it, and I totally agree. She hasn't done it for a while. So, a uh, little bit of raw onion, because it won't be properly raw once it's cooked, will it? We'll put the oven on now. Incidentally, I'm not going to end the live stream just because the pizza will be cooked. I'm going to eat it in front of you, <laughs> if you don't mind. I don't want to just end the live stream. Come oh, no, I know what I would want it. Olives. Olives, yes. Nothing beats olives on a pizza. Oh, gosh, yes. That would have been fantastic, but I haven't got any. I've got some garlic sausage. But I'm not sure whether that's actually a good idea to reheat. I suppose it probably would be. It's only really like ham, isn't it? Now, cheese. We have um, some cheese from Morrison's. This bag is mozzarella and cheddar. Uh, used most of this up actually. I might as well just use all of it, I don't know. Now I think when you've got really decent bread, you don't need loads of cheese. So, uh, I'm not, I think I won't put loads of cheese on, but then I do, because I really like cheese. Right now, finally, finally, black pepper. Black pepper goes on everything. So you'll get to see the pizza before and after. Currently, there we are, before. An uncooked pizza doesn't look particularly satisfying. Oh, come on, just put a bit more cheese in there. Don't waste it. Now, what I need to do is get one of these beers out of the cupboard. And the four beers that I had bought for me. Which one do I want? I'll show you what I have. In case you're even slightly interested. Well, uh, Campfire Hazy IPA by Two Tribes Brewery. Never heard of this one, never tried it. I like the uh, can. This can actually, it suits my t-shirt somewhat, doesn't it? So I would imagine that this is the one to have. But then we also have uh, this uh, Drygate Disco Forklift. <laughs> I've had this one before actually, a very long time ago, maybe about six years ago. It used to be uh, in a small can. So that's a Mango Pale Ale, 5.1% so with American hops. And that will be rather tasty, tasty, tasty. But I'm, I'm very much into a hazy IPA because, I mean, 
What happened, what used to happen, is they would get rid of all of the hazy stuff with finings and whatever else they used to do, and you'd lose quite a bit of the flavour. Just so you can see through it. Not the way. And then Vocation. And now this, Vocation is a brewery in Hebden Bridge, which is about 10 miles away from here. Uh, and they've, um, they've done an awful lot of new beers recently and they seem to be going from strength to strength they even have a the vocation pub in hebden bridge a place i've never been to but i do know people who have and apparently it's very good but this is a another beer that i've never actually tried so this is a uh, uh, death by the query strawberry and lime the query sour this is going to be rather rather difficult to drink and talk at the same time because i imagine with every sip of this particular beer it's going to be a like that which believe it or not is actually quite a good thing it's only four and a half percent so it's not uh any mind altering the strong one is this a tiny rebel pineapple express ipa 6.2 percent and uh oh it's got a picture of a dead teddy bear on the front of it is it a dead teddy bear uh no it's just one with an eye missing kind of reminds me of the rig welter beer uh black sheep rig welter with uh, a picture of a it's, it's like a really dark uh ale that's quite hoppy mm -hmm. really it's exceedingly bitter and the front looks like a sheep that's dead and I used to think that's what it was, just like a, it's, a, it's a dead sheep. It gives you ideas of what the thing might taste like. But no, no, it's rig welter. Rig welted, a sheep that's found itself on its back like this and it can't get back up again. So, um, I have to choose one of these. And if I was to ask my audience which one I should drink, I'm probably not going to read it and make my own mind up anyway. So what I'm going to do is go for the one that suits my t-shirt. Two Tribes Campfire Hazy IPA. It does, doesn't it? It really does suit my t-shirt. I'm going to bung in the freezer for a bit. And my cup of tea's gone. At least I actually drunk it this time. Quite often I make a cup of tea and I can get around to drinking it. Right, whilst the uh, oven is getting up to temperature, I get back to reading some comments out because there are quite a few, probably, that I have missed. Ah, right, okay, no, there's maybe not quite as many. What, oh, right, yeah, we've done that one. Hot, because, yeah, we've done that one. Ah, uh, that's where we got to, the Peter won't cook itself, right. Evening, Paul. Do you have a favourite Blue Peter presenter? Um, John Noakes? I'm only saying that because he's the only one I can remember. Uh, good evening, Mustard, says wonderful horseshoe. I'm staying at home from work today. Car broke down. Zilch. Oh, dear, that's terrible news, user, isn't it? Terrible. Uh, McKenna Wright says, Mew. Hmm. Now, is that as in mewing the mogging? I like your... Yeah. Oh, I like your flat cap, by the way. It suited you. <laughs> oh, gosh, no, no one's ever said that to me. No, thank you. Uh, I might wear it on Saturday. Saturday, I'm having a little meet-up um, that I've organised uh, with some other car enthusiasts, and uh, I might wear it for that. Ex-cocktail flarer here now. 25 years of borist. Ah. Oh, is that aborist? Uh, Squirrel Sniper. The, did I say 9 out of 10 for that name? Can you mew? Asks McKenna Wright. Now, I believe mewing is the thing where you push your tongue up to the roof of your mouth and pull your face in. And for some reason, that makes you better than other people. So... If I'm incorrect by that, then let me know. But if I am correct, then I'm not going to do it. 
Would you ever consider doing a spicy challenge on the challenge? I think it would be good to uh, get a lot of like and views and subscribers. Yes, I do. In fact, um, I was considering doing that tonight because I, I forgot that I've got some um, pizza dough. It's just, well, it's just dough, isn't it? I forgot I've, I had that there. I forgot I was going to be making some food. And I was thinking of just consuming loads of chilies just to see how many I could actually eat until my face went so red and was about to burst and then glugged down four pints of milk. So if you'd like me to do that, pre <laughs> please press like now if you haven't already. Kai Boo, uh, you call a belt of watches. What do you call a belt of watches? A belt of watches. Uh, I don't know. Well, right, you're on you as well. My Wi-Fi went out. Or oh, somebody's liked it. Somebody either wants me to go mad on the chilies or just happens to have liked it anyway. Yep. I like red pepper. We like red pepper. Uh, we're up to the pizza part. Another like. Yes, 26. You know what? I might just get those 27, the magic 27 likes before I can have my beer. Without, I have got 27. That's fabulous. That does make me pleased. Oh, yes, it does. Indeed, it does. Um, oh. I was sexually assaulted at work today by an older woman, says uh, uh, Guy Puty. That, um, that's rather unusual. The food looks kind of good, says Palfos Boy. Oh, boy. Boy, hopefully it will be more than just kind of good, but actually good as well. Would love to see Caribbean food on the channel. And again, it's, it's just not really something I've ever really tried. Uh, so this is where, wouldn't it be fabulous to have, um, have, have somebody on, on board, like a sponsor that wanted to send ingredients my way and pay me to actually cook it. <laughs> that would really work. Oh, God, I hate how he's cutting it. Uh, oh, what? Ah, I know why. Because I've not cut it into um, it into proper segments. I've just randomly cut it up. Well, I do that deliberately, actually. No onions, no, no jalapenos. No. Nope. Uh, hi, I'm new. What are you making? Says, hi there. And I bet you've gone, actually, because this was a while back, but it is a pizza. Damn, I just broke my phone screen. Oh, dear. Red onion and pizza adds flavour. Well, it all adds flavour. Love onion and pizza. Say hello to Mr. L uh, allergic. So, allergic to me. Matt's finished photography. What about pineapple on the pizza, mate? Well, what about it? I like pineapple on the pizza with ham. I do. I think it's a fabulous idea. And although, you know, many, many people think you should be chucked off a cliff for actually tr actually trying it, I don't. I think it's uh, it's nice. Uh, tut tut, cheaper than, cheaper and better to grate your own cheese. Yes, but it's only a bit cheaper though. That's the thing. It really is not lots cheaper. And then you have all the hassle of messing around with a grater. So it's not it's not cheaper until you have a grater. And currently, I haven't even got one. Add more veggies, as many as you can. Uh, add corn, sweet corn. Add some broccoli. Add some fungi too, maybe. Says Sam. I love dried I love dried basil on a pizza, not oregano. I love pizza and uh, pepperoni and salami. Jalapenos on pizza is good. Cheese and ham pizza good, says Bev. And I like to add spice, says Dan. And I do as well. But And I have done. I've put some chilies on there, haven't I? I'll put two. I put two because I don't want to overdo it because I have done in the past where then suddenly you don't even want to eat it. Pineapple on pizza, it's so tangy and citrusy. I love the combination. No meat and veggies. Uh, no, no, it's just a, well, it's just, it's just a cheesy pizza, that's all. I'm, I'm actually considering going and getting the, uh, mm, should I put some garlic sausage on it? I reckon I might do, actually. 
I tried the red hot Frank's at McDonald's chicken burger and I found it wasn't near hot enough. Well, it won't be because, I mean, let's remember that uh, McDonald's is still catering for young people rather than older people. So their, their tastes definitely won't really have got to be that interested in that. It's all plain safe at McDonald's, isn't it? It's all, it's all very um, ordinary. It's funny about people that will go to McDonald's and then flick off the the uh, gherkin from the burger, and the gherkin's the one thing that really makes the burger actually any good. Uh, same, I like how it makes Savoy taste even better. I prefer tomato based to barbecue sweet based sweet. Well, me too. That's why I want to do the uh, barbecue stuff. Gosh, an awful lot of messages. Uh, oh, right, you've been hidden, oh dear. I would love to make my own vodka, says Dan, or gin. Uh, delete my account too. It seems to suggest, it seems to like, su hey, delete my account, delete my comment too. It seems like a suggestion to Mr. Mustard. Obviously, I missed that. Uh, all right, thanks. Uh, Being edited on YouTube, we'll be back and writing for a Substack. Uh, Dan Bro, what's everybody up to in chat? Talking, I reckon, is the answer. Dan, or Dan, uh, Sarah Green of Blue Peter gave me the one. <laughs> this is my first time watching you, Mr. The Kitchen. Thank you very much, Matt. Uh, Stephanie Ripley says, uh, shout me out, please. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Uh, anyone say hello to me, says Dan, bro. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. How about you? Hello. Hello. How do the comments work? <laughs> it's amiable. Dan, bro's from India. <laughs> uh, oh, Hooked on Classics is here. Uh, all of the co Isla Cockney. I was brought up in South London. I just got banned from posting, says Germany. Where? Uh, hey, Greenwood, what uh, are you... Oh. Um, Southern fried chicken. Gherkins are gross. They're not gross. They're lovely. Uh, Mrs. Mustard must be getting hungry. Yes, you're probably right, actually. Getting used to it, though. Getting, getting used to it. But that's what happens if uh, you know, like, like any any man should be in the kitchen cooking and live streaming. It's natural, isn't it? But it means that you, you simply uh, have to wait a bit longer for your food. Garlic sausage, yes. Mmm, garlic sausage. Fortunately, it has a kind of thing around the edge that you can't eat. Well, I'm not supposed to be eating it now. Pizza. Come on, off you get. Right, so now <clears throat> you can tell very easily which side is mine, kind of. And they're still not ready. Still not to temperature anyway. I've been well and truly there by now. Hello. What's wrong? So, all of this chat wasn't even a waste of time because uh, even the oven's not, I even got it to temperature. I think it's working. On Sunday, who was here with me on Sunday? Not Sunday, the Sunday before, when I did a roast dinner and the oven wasn't working. Oh, you want some of this? Yeah. But it's, it's bedtime and you've already brushed your teeth, haven't you? 
You can have some tomorrow, okay? You can have some tomorrow. Go on, up you go. Too big. I wish I could have some. Just a tiny bit. Make sure you wash your hands afterwards because it's very oily. Okay. I can have some. Are you Where are you going now? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm. I'm doing a live stream now. Now it's at the temperature, so we can bump it in a second. It's so good. Um, this is yeah, so you forgot good. how much you like um, garlic sausage, didn't you? Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't normally have it because obviously I'm trying not to eat like bottles. Oh, well, no. But it, it, it's just the one I feel, yeah. You're still alive? Yep, I'm still doing a live stream. There you go. Yes! Well, why, why is that so thick? Why is that what? So thick. Mm. Right, one, you two. I've got stuff to do here. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Right, so we are now up to temperature. And uh, about 10 minutes in there, and it will be ready. What a jolly time this is. Unfortunately, we still don't seem to have loads of people again tonight, but never mind. Indeed, he eats mustard. I want McDonald's. Um, when I was a young child, I used to eat English mustard by the teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> My mother said she was so worried and took me to the doctors that she thought I would get ulcers. I guess she didn't say, Bev. Um, no, they're not. We kind of want a bit more. Right, well, go on then. Oh, yeah. Go on then. Seconds. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not old enough for that. Uh, I think you've earned your beer now, Mustard, says Tracy the Greenwood. Thank you very much. I think you're probably right. Oh, right, hang on. Hello, Cabbage and Poppy. <gasps> Unfortunately, Cabby and Poppy aren't with us right now. I know. Um, uh, they've gone uh, They've gone to um, Australia. They've got, no, not to Australia. They've gone to Blackpool and they're staying in a hotel. They're school in the morning. This is a delay tactic, isn't it? So, go on, up you go. Up you go. Good night. No, no, no more. You've had a bit of that. Prep time. Dough ingredients. Um, well, yeah, I could... T oh, hang on. I could tell you that. Um, prep time. Dough ingredients. Dough is flour, water, salt, and a bit of oil. If you like, I will do another dough-making session, because actually I love making dough. I find it very therapeutic. So the other thing is, I just use plain flour. I know that you're supposed to use like, uh, <clears throat> like really fine flour for pizza. It doesn't really matter. Or um, strong, strong flour. You don't need to. White flour is fine. I made a lamb madras the other day and it was absolutely lovely, says Dan Peters. Now, tell you what, I've got to admit here that what I really fanc fancied eating tonight was madras scrambled eggs like I had the other day. It was fantastic. And I keep remembering the taste of it, and that's what I really want. It's still a couple of pizza. <laughs> like the t-shirt mate says, Matt, finished photography. And this t-shirt was organised by a man called Neil Gibbons, also known as the Gibbonator, that sometimes arrives on these live streams. 
My son is 11 and he can eat to Madras or Vindaloo easily. He loves anything spicy. Yes, yes. Good to hear. When you get that, um, that, that taste for spicy food young, it's a really good thing. Uh, John is here. Um, Yo Mustard and Sam says, OMG, they're adorable. Yes, they are, most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your holiday in Blackpool, Cabbage and Poppy. They've gone to Australia. Uh, Lizzie Van Epps. Uh, there is a bug on your wall, is there? Um, I hate lamb. Uh, why are you called mustard, asks John. I'm not. I'm not. That's just a nickname. It's just a nickname that I accidentally gave to myself one day whilst making a video, and it stuck like mustard on a pair of jeans. Uh, well, well, right. you're allowed to dislike it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, don't, don't don't need to be defensive, Sam. Uh, I'm a rat. What are your opinions? Well, I think you're a very smart rat, but rats are known for being quite intelligent, and that's why they make good pets. Uh, but I've never known one that's been smart enough to actually type a message out before, so you may be a super rat. What meat is in your what meat in a curry is your favourite? Probably chicken, and chicken because um, although lamb's traditional, I uh, just Poor little lummies. I just I can't get my head around eating them. Mm. I bought the ingredients for curried eggs and I will have a side of roasted cauliflower. Mmm. Yes. British accent says Clorox, Clorox bleach. <laughs> um, Nathan Jones, are you called mustard because you have smelly farts? No, oddly, oddly enough, no, that's, that's not really why. And if you don't have smelly farts, then um, you're missing out on something, aren't you? Smelly farts are great. Oh, well, thank you. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome, Swayze Hearts. Chicken, yes, right. Um, oh, hang on, right, just wait there. I'm just going to get that beer out of the freezer now. So as you told me, I earned it. And yes, I'm rather excited by this beer. Mm. With my 27 likes and my 101 people watching this live stream, why shouldn't I be having a beer? Hey, why shouldn't I? No. Should we have some more likes? Why don't, why don't we have a, a nice big like session? Ooh, yes. Gosh, that smells really good. That's a lovely... Lovely hoppy smell that is. I've got a feeling I'm going to really enjoy this beer. Yes. And that is definitely what you would call a hazy beer. Now, not so long back, you tip your beer out and it looks like that and you go, oh, it's off, isn't it? Oh, there's something wrong with that. But of course, we know better now, don't we? we why it took so long. Hmm. That's fantastic. It reminds me a little bit, ever since fake stream. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you keep on saying that, you're going to get bunged up for just repeating yourself. Um, oh, there we go. See, told you. You can't mess about. You can join. You can join in. You can watch. You can have fun. But don't spam. That's, yeah, it reminds me ever so slightly of a vocation beer. It reminds me a bit of uh, life and death. Th that's what the beer's called, by the way. Chicken, oh. Uh, right, okay. Um, young, young uh, f filth, young filth. I saw a young girl get stabbed with a screwdriver during my trip to Quebec last week. Gnarly stuff, Say, stay safe. Yeah, well, that's pretty horrible, isn't it? I grew up with a Bangladeshi neighbour. They used to feed me fish curry, so I've got 
good spice tolerance. Yes. Um, now, when you have when you have uh, neighbours that cook and they want to share that experience, the, the tastes with you, that's fantastic. I've never done that, but I do believe um, I've got a Bangladeshi friend actually, and uh, I've not seen him for a while, but. Every time I've been to his house, his his, uh, his his wife cooks a lot, and it's just the food comes out. No, because he's mustard. <clears throat> Not sure what that was about. Have you ever tried a chicken fowl curry? Asks Dan, and I haven't. No, I've had. Um, I've had a uh, vindaloo and I've had sort of spices like that. But my old curries, I tend to end up, you know, I think I've got it hot enough, but I'll have a bit more. But as far as I know, a fart is just, it's, it's more of just a challenge, really. It's just to see how spicy you can get it. It doesn't really matter whether you like it or not. Does anybody like it? Or do they eat it just to show how masculine they are? That's what I want to know. Do you like it? Do you like it, Dan? Logan Alexander says, my dad. Well, good. What about your dad? Uh, so hopefully it's a good thing. I have smelly farts and people call me Eggy. So I just assume, says Nathan. That's a good name for somebody who does lots of farts. I only like tuna prawns lobster, no fish. Uh, oh, right, okay. It's all these... Um, Fake stream comments have gone. <clears throat> have you ever made your own vodka? No, I haven't done. No, I've, I haven't. I've never really wanted to do. I have made my own beer. I've done that a few times. I mean, that'd be a good a good um, thing to do in a live stream as well, wouldn't it? Making beer, drinking beer, all made at home. The only thing is, it's a messy business making beer. Time consuming and lots and lots of mess. At a very smelly house. Unless you like the smell. Oh, that smells good, actually. <clears throat> that smells really good. The um, <clears throat> garlic sausage in there is really making a difference. Ready to eat? No drain my favourites. Oh, the fish, yeah. Is that an IPA? Yes, it is a cloudy IPA um, that you can see in the can just there. Dad Boop, Elder One, bestow some wisdom upon bestow some wisdom upon us. Never be grumpy when you can be calm. <laughs> that's it that's it that's my uh, wisdom for you actually i could expand upon that when people are grumpy they make other people grumpy and they make themselves even more grumpy so the best thing you can do is whatever it is that's made you feel grumpy let it go yes let it go because by being grumpy about anything will simply make that thing much worse and you will not be able to find a solution Okay. Uh, Cornell Corning, Cornelton, Cornell Collins, where you get your tan from? I, I didn't get it from anywhere. I just, it just happened to, as soon as I got out in the sun, I, I, I kind of, <clears throat> I absorbed the ultraviolet rays somewhat. More, more, ah. Oh. Uh, yes, the Arab Cuba. What's one plus one? Oh, okay. I know this one. I know this one. I just can't remember. Not being defensive. Uh, I've developed a thing about not calling food yuck because I am around people with lots of different cuisines and habits. And some someone told me it's rude. I suppose. Um, mm -hmm. I suppose it, it's going to depend a great deal. On, on your culture as well, really. But um, I certainly don't think Bev's an offensive person. Uh, Vindaloo makes me Vindapoo. That's just a saying. <laughs> That's a good saying, actually. Oh. <laughs> I can't read that one out, Cornell, but that is very funny, actually, and probably true. 
<clears throat> it's not refers to, it's not ah right that refers to sarcasm see i learn every day with this but i also forget a lot as well my dad is dead says logan alexander well that is terrible hopefully it wasn't a recent thing and it's something that you're coping with um <clears throat> I don't mind it. I don't mind a file, but it depends on where it's made. If it's like shop made, it's definitely nowhere near as hot. But a decent takeaway is a lovely thing and well worth it, is it? Yeah, that's interesting. Ah, right, I see. Um, please, can you say hello to my brother in law? Uh, cars and stuff. Yes, I can, Matt. Yes, uh, hello to cars and stuff. You could also consider making meals in a tight budget to reduce the food waste, etc. It appeals to many people. It does. It does appeal. I, I, I like to, um, what I like to do, come to think of it, this would be a good one, is to not do any shopping at all. And then open up the cupboard and think, right, I want to make something tasty, but I haven't got any food in. So what can I make? It's not too difficult. If you... With the use of, of uh, herbs and spices and things, you can make anything taste good. Even toilet roll. Toilet roll's quite expensive, though. Jamison Fitzgerald. Uh, Fitzgerald. How old are you? I am. So old you just wouldn't believe it. The number is massive. In fact, we can't even write this number down because... There's just too much of a problem with people understanding it. So the best thing for me to say is I'm probably older than what you are. I tried a fart once. It's like eating little lava. <laughs> but the guy I used to work with could eat it with no reaction. Uh, Yaz Kazi. Hi. Hooked on classics. My dad tried to make a beer once when I was a kid and he did it wrong. Oh, the demijohn exploded. Well, that's how you make wine, not beer. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose you could do. But, hmm. Alberto Florin Bolentis. What a cool name that is, unfortunately, ruined by saying shut up. So, I was about to award your name an 8 out of 10. But just for saying shut up, I'm going to give it a 4. And that means that um, you're not as cool as you would have been otherwise. Now, it is time... I reckon to bring out the pizza that is in the oven. It certainly smells like it might be well and truly cooked. And it's oh yes, nope, it's not. It's not quite cooked. And it is a bit, and it is quite a lot. But it needs a bit more being cooked before I'm going to take it out. This is possibly where the where the center leader uh, would have actually come in handy to make that base a bit more crunchy. Look, 128 people on board at the moment and still no more likes. Come on, come on, people. Come on, come on now, come on, come on. Please like the live stream. You may be a very happy man. You may be a very happy man with a yellow T-shirt on. Mm. Even in mustard, I had an old peculiar. Great beer, it is great. But this is fantastic, this beer. This one here. This is so hoppy that um, when you do a burp, you can taste it again. And I really like that. It's like uh, the effect that coriander has. Uh, if you have lots and lots of chopped up coriander stalks in a curry, when you have to burp afterwards, you can taste the whole curry experience again. It's fabulous. It's worth it. It's worth it just for that. And this is one of the nicest beers that I have had for a very, very long time. I'm not sure how much it costs because I didn't buy it, but I highly recommend it. And the other cool thing is there's a chap with dungarees on playing guitar, and that is about as cool as you can get. Uh, I tried to make elderflower wine once, but the demijohn farted so badly it stunk the house to high heaven and was not drinkable. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Classic Britain is here. Classic Britain Sheldon. Welcome back. Um, I hope you'll stay for a while and like the live stream. 
Mr. Yapor. Gayat Dam. Gayat. Yes. Now, I know what that means now. It means... Oh, I might be getting mixed up with something else, but that's that's a big bottom, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah, big bottom. Hello, are you from Russia? Ask someone who is from Russia, and the answer is no. I'm definitely not from Russia. Aubrey Rose, uh, Sabrina's back, and Eva O, and uh, Aubrey Rose says, Oh, we are dumb, Jack. Oh, we are dumb, Jack. Oh, gosh, oh, we are dumb, Jack. Oh, uh, uh. I think that means you're weird. OMG. Gosh. If only it was that easy. If it was only that easy just to just tell someone they were weird and they'd do something about it. But in actual fact, it's not. And as you've already gone, I may as well just um, tell you this. I'm not actually weird. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just a man who's doing a live stream and I've probably got a lot more personality than someone who can't even spell your. Thank you, Aubrey. <laughs> Hi, Simone. How's your fleet going? Trying to flog my P6 with a one engine at the moment, says Sheldon. Ah. Hello, Sheldon. Arnon. Amon. Just found out, just found out you're pretty young, not that old. Ah. Wonder how old anybody thought it was then. I love your fish tank. What is your favourite animal? My favourite animal <laughs> is a giraffe. A no, no, he said it was a bunny. Well, a giraffe, bunnies, they're all the same thing, aren't they? This is almost ready. I'll bring some in in a second. Okay. I, I haven't forgotten about the pizza, Bev. No, I have not. And it's terrifying. No, it's like that. So when you don't say it too loud. Why? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. A secret. What? What? Ah. Message retracted, Gus. I went shopping for my son on Saturday. I was looking for John at uh, John Lewis, I believe. Um, a pizza oven. There's a price just beyond a joke. Eight hundred pound. Eight hundred pound for pizza oven. Yeah, it is a bit overpriced. Please don't repeat the same questions. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's rather chipper of you, eh, Mon? Let's have another look at this pizza. Oh. I don't even think I caught up from before, did I? I'm beginning to think this is going to be one of those live streams where I never properly catch up. That's going to do. Now look at that. That is what you call a proper homemade pizza. This is going to be great. You know what would be really good for life? Oh gosh, I tell you what, uh, the, the garlic sausage is kind of spread across somewhat. It's decided that the, the room that it had wasn't enough room. Cut a thingy. Glasses off for a moment. And do some cutty cutty of the pizza. Pizza. Pizza, pizza. Doom, doom, doom. Imagine if that really happened to Australia, it was just cutting off like that. One slice of pizza. <laughs> Two slices of pizza. Three slices of pizza. And that's too much there. I'm cut a bit off. There we go. Um, I'm going to take this into the room. then come back I'm going to eat mine with you. In fact, let's just try this a little bit. Mm. 
No, oh, it's good. What did I expect? Will be more good. Just cool down ever so slightly. Apparently, the noises of eating food that's too hot isn't particularly pleasant. So you wouldn't really want to hear that now, would you? I'll be good. <sighs> no. Too late, you've hit it now. In Milton Keynes meant to say, sorry. Okay, done. KK, sorry, says Eva O. What's KK? Logan Alexander, I'm a cop. That's unusual, actually, because normally um, the police like to keep a pro the police like to keep a low profile. Although, of course, they don't in America. You know, they like to they, they like to you know be seen um, you know doing the stakeouts in that uh, that red car with the white tick down the side. That's the American way. But so I presume that if you have a cop, well, actually, we don't call them cops here anyway, do we? We call them the police. Or the Rosas. The Rosas is one of my favourite endearing terms for the police. I don't really see how they could get offended by it. So I like that one. <laughs> it's illegal to impersonate a police officer. I hope you're ready for jail. <laughs> Gotta do that, all right. I hope you're ready for jail. Uh, I will bring the GoPro to your meet. What are you? So surely not, Sheldon. You're not coming all the way up here on Saturday, are you? There's a pizza in there for you. Thank you. I need to get a drink. You're going to get a drink then. I won't be going to um, the, what's it, the, I've got, it's called the Great British drive Through or whatever it is. I've, I've got my little organisation up here. Can't get one. <laughs> what? I can't get one. Of course you can't. Today. Because the, the lighting wasn't particularly good. Which cup do you want? Uh, just a cup. George cup. There you go. Okay. Ah. It's time to try the pizza as well, by the way. This is better than yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. I'm treating myself to nice hands, I? That's brilliant. I'm always doing this. Now I'll make some food and I'll tell you how good it is. But you can see, look, it's, it's good. You have a great challenge, Captain Mustard. Very much enjoying it. Which challenge, challenge is that one? Womp, womp, says article. <clears throat> uh, the Greenwood, Banamon, it's, it's Banamon, it's a troll. Uh, so it, <laughs> I haven't even read it yet, but I know it's going to make me laugh. <clears throat> Tyler Kennedy says, uh, this had better be good now because I've already set myself up to giggle here. Uh, saw you in the post office the other day arguing with a, with a guy who works there because he wouldn't... These live streams wouldn't be the same without you here. <laughs> you were with a man because he wouldn't let he wouldn't let you lick off the stamps. 
<laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I personally add more seasonings. There's not enough. Otherwise, I would do. Um, NP, I am a mod on the main channel. Hmm. Hmm. This is why you need to learn to cook. If you don't cook, you're missing out on being able to make food that's better yet than you can buy, that you don't have to pay as much for. Honestly, learn to cook. Right, so. Sorry about that. Um, I'm back. Sorry I've been uploading a video. How are we this evening? What are you cooking? Asks Joe. Oh, cars with JC. Not cooking. Cooked. Pizza. There we go. Nice thin base. It's not properly crunchy under, under the bottom. Still a bit soft, but it's not falling apart. Ah. Uh, I did recognise you. Don't often get to watch PN lives. Thanks for the help. Ah, right, I see. I don't really do them um, on there. <clears throat> I felt like doing live streams on Project Nigel was kind of a bit of a... It felt like I was going to lose subscribers for doing it. Whereas here, I can't. I can only gain them. <laughs> so <clears throat> it's a very different channel, isn't it? What's it? Yeah, I have vanished for a little while, says so classic Britain. Is that pizza? Yes, it is. Good thanks for games now. Pizza, pizza, yeah. Scrumptious pizza. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Indeed. Uh, <clears throat> so I can't really... There's not a lot of point in reading comments where people are talking to each other. No, no, you know, you're welcome to do that, of course, but... I cut my pizza with scissors. Probably quite effective. <laughs> yeah. Starsky and Hutch, that's right. What, really? All right. <clears throat> if that yes I am is that um, Sheldon saying to me yes I am you're going to come up to Rochdale this Saturday are you really doing it because that is quite a uh, trek for you Jimmy Quinn uh, <clears throat> you need a pizza stone that's how you get the, the, the base probably a bit more crunch, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, I'm going to your thing too. That's amazing. Such a long way. Better make sure it's good now, aren't I? Hello, Mrs. Mustard, says uh, Captain... Uh, no, sorry, Captain, says Andrew Buttigieg. Mystic is a great car, but I've decided to keep my uh, keep my cup my three thousand five hundred S. I had restored the great British car journey, long ships and octagons. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. I'm not going to. <clears throat> hmm. 
I bet people in your house get very well fed mustard. Well, they do. They do. And the thing is, <clears throat> having, having small people around, you want to encourage them to eat something proper. When I say eat something proper, I mean eat something that isn't beige. Something different, you know, to help them develop the, the, the taste buds for different foods. Good in it, Greenwood. You don't want to get stringy cheese caught up in your beard. Well, that's one of the things about leaving it to cool down a little bit. It stops being quite so cheesy. I mean, stringy. Live keyboard skills. Can we see some live keyboard skills? Um, Ed or Chanel. Is that really loud? That's the beer, by the way. Highly recommended. The keyboard's at work. I made pizza dough with almond flour and mozzarella cheese. Makes it carb-free. It's actually really nice. Almond flour. Are you sure it's carb free? Thin base is my favourite, yes. What is next on the be the, the uh, menu? asks Matt. Well, obviously there won't be anything else tonight, but <clears throat> tomorrow night I might go back to my I just want to show this, it's just just really, really good. I mean just a pizza. You know, you've seen a pizza before, so you're not really gonna think, oh yes, that's fabulous. But it, but it actually is. Tomorrow night, I'll probably do the um, <clears throat> another scrambled egg curry because that's just such a favourite at the moment. Oh. Well, that's an interesting idea, Tyler. I think you should have a beer for every like you get. <laughs> Imagine. <clears throat> If I had to drink a beer every time somebody did a like, <clears throat> well, I'd get, um, <clears throat> I wouldn't get far in before I was utterly slushed, would I? And carry on trying to do a live stream after I've got 31 likes. I'd forget to switch it off. I'd have no idea what's happened, what I've said in it. It um, is an interesting idea, but obviously fraught with danger. Oh, wow. <laughs> At oh, right, okay, that's gone already. Atlas. Have you ever cooked chicken wings on here? No, I haven't, Tyler. I was, do you know what? I don't... With the amount of people that come and go on live streams like this, you've been... One that's stuck for quite a while, but I'm just I was just thinking earlier on, when did you start? Was you one was you somebody that came on and said something a bit rude and you liked the answer that I came up with? Because I'm sure you were. Or did you come from the other channel? I want to ask you a question. Uh, do you have any anxiety about what's going on with Palestine? Uh <clears throat> Yes. How's Kate Middleton? I don't know. I'll pop down to Lidl tomorrow and find out. But it's already half ten, so she'll be off her shift now. No spamming. Yep. Yeah. 
I think it's worse than spamming. Mm. Uh, oh, <clears throat> I'm going to put this one in the freezer. Uh, this is the the sour. So I might just have a little bit of this just as I leave the live stream uh, because this is uh, this is going to be really really difficult to talk after drinking uh, strawberry and lime uh, daiquiri sour. It's going to be quite a challenge. <laughs> And I've almost finished my bit of pizza as well. <clears throat> Great actual answer actually is that re is is that re Kate Middleton? All right, uh, yeah. Don't like wings or thighs. Only eat breast meat. Says Bev Coles. No, 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 no. The the. The legs are the bit that taste the best. It's just there's a bit more messing around. You have to chew around bones, I suppose. So I take it you're no monarch fan, asks Harry. Why? I have no problem with the monarchy. In fact, I like them. I was very, very, um, what this... There's a, a lot of um, monarchy bashing in this country, as there are in other places, but not from me. Atlas says she's my wife. What, well, Kate Middleton? Well, congratulations. Does Will know? How's the pizza? It's brilliant, damn. Thank you. Spam is for eating, not reading. I love the mustard yellow t shirts. I do too. It's great, isn't it? Ah, Tyler's answered my question. That's nice of you. Um, I found you from scrolling through and your good sense of humour and I used to live in Rochdale. Oh, you don't need more then, right? I see. Uh, <clears throat> who's on your T-shirt? Asks Howie. And uh, that, see, it's worthwhile. It's worthwhile asking. It is Pat Mustard, uh, a character from Father Ted. Fried Spam's very tasty, says Simone. I've never tried it. That's a point. Mustard, could you knock up some spam-based grub? Asks Mystic Hair. I could do, but I'm going to struggle to find the motivation for that. Because I don't really like uh, the idea of spam, really. The fact that they've named an activity after this particular type of canned meat kind of says it all to me. Yeah, go on then. Cars with JC. Perhaps you could do a, 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 a spam live stream. <clears throat> exactly. Ah. Wind Price says hi. Uh, I live in a canal boat now. But do you really? Because <laughs> don't you drink tea? Yes, I do. I drink tea all day. But as I've had some beers given to me today, I thought it, the only polite thing to do would be to actually drink them. <clears throat> a place near me does a massive slab of battered, deep-fried spam. And, OMG, it's amazing, but I have to avoid the area. Maybe I'm missing out on something. I thought spam was supposed to be something disgusting. Spam from the 70s was best. Uh, present Mike. Uh, or Mick. Probably Mike. Hi. <laughs> Are there any hairy babies in Rochdale, Mr. Mustard? <laughs> Thank you, Mixed Onions. <clears throat> CHS Band and Other Music. Hi. Hello. I lived abroad on the narrow boat. What's this called? 
it was an inappropriate comment. Right. Yeah. So, um, Tyler, you're, you're living the life of freedom then, I guess. And you've got internet. Or have you got one of those um, take with you anywhere uh, routers? And do you live on a caravan, uh, in a caravan, canal boat, just in one place, or do you move around? Angry Squishy says hi. Hello, Angry Squishy. I've not eaten meat apart from fish since July last year. I could murder a bacon sandwich, but my stu stomach would go nuts. Yeah, if you're not used to it. Mandy Miller is here as well. Hello. Now look at the top of the screen. You can see 133 people are watching, but only 31 have liked. That's not a good ratio. YouTube's not going to be sending more people my way. They're going to think, well, people keep dropping in, but they don't want to stay. So do the honest thing. Mm. Thank you, whoever it was that did that just then. It's really unfortunate that if you, <clears throat> if you, um, Find that meat has that effect on you. Then again, none of us feel good about eating meat, do we? But it's, but it's there and it's good for us. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> hmm. I have to move every two weeks, but I'm stuck near Bradford at the minute. Near Bradford and a canal boat. It's an interesting one. I have seen some canal boats on George Clark shows. Done it very nicely indeed. I mean, yeah, the, the idea of, of living on a canal boat seems really rather idyllic. Mm. Oh, I mean, what? Just here, at the Rochdale, the canal in Rochdale, it's full of shopping trolleys and litter and people hanging about down the sides. So, apparently... Uh, it's avoided quite a bit by people who travel on canal boat. Further up the road, it's really nice. In fact, it's only a few miles up the road, suddenly it goes nice. But <clears throat> I would take that uh, same canal probably, I think it goes all the way, it goes through um, Todbedon, Hebden Bridge, Halifax, probably then on to Bradford. Which direction are you headed, um, Tyler? It always was port that makes me go funny. I have. Oh, I don't know, I've just read that one, haven't I? Oh. oh, chilies. I forgot about the chilies. I've just had a really, really hot bit just there. I lived abroad for six years. Good community. I've always thought it might be very damp living in a canal boat. Probably wrong. Well, if it's. Um, <clears throat> As long as the water stays on the outside of the canal boat, then I think you're fine, aren't you? Dora, I love chocolate. Many people do. Oh, it's not that good when you have to tip to your poo out. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what's that about, Blaze? Uh, the the Mullen Camp. Gosh, what's going on again now? Canal boat can only do four mile per hour, the same speed as the milk float episode of Father's Head with Pat Mustard. Uh, I've got to go towards Leeds, I see. I sub says the Mullen Camp. Thank you very much. And another <coughs> familiar face here, Mr. Stephen Parry from the <coughs> Port Sunlight in the Wirral. How are you tonight, Mr. Captain Mustard? A light 
uh, I like Boaty's top last night. He misses you that much. He made a friend say he loves. I know. I saw it. I think it was, it was very amusing to see that actually. Guess what? Guess what? He said he'd miss me on his live stream, didn't he? And I know he wasn't joking, because he phoned me up after. <laughs> he phoned me up about half twelve last night. We had a chat for half an hour. <clears throat> oh gosh, that um that was a really, really spicy bit there. Like to how would I get on if I did a chili eating challenge on the live stream? I reckon I should do it, don't you? Oh, it's all gone. That's pretty. I crossed that canal many times as a child. Right behind my nan's shop. Nuggets. Fix sake, mustard. All right, I've just clicked like, <laughs> says Jimmy. Well, yeah, thank you. It wasn't difficult, was it? Thank you, Mullen Camp. Is that how you say it, the Mullen Camp? I love your videos. Oh, I have to get some milk. I can't, why me? See, chilies are really deceptive. <clears throat> I ate all that pizza without really noticing. And then suddenly there was just one bit. It was just way too hot. <clears throat> Scun oh, right, you're in Scunthorpe. On the sliding away bridge. Right, I'm off. Um, say something classics. Thank you. I love nuggets. Night Simone. Tata half an hour. Mercury says hi. Uh, <clears throat> Do you want to make do you want to make babies, says the Mullen Camp? Well, I already have to. <clears throat> yeah, I already I already done that one. My boat is illegally fast, it can go six miles per hour. Uh, Charlotte Calliston's here and says a good evening, old chap. Thank you very much. How drunk was he that vodka takes him off the planet? Difficult to tell, it didn't seem any different from normal. Be interesting to see how it progresses, though. Um, would I really be able to tell? Because it, it, he is one of those people that could be drunk even when he's sober, isn't he? Yep, it was a good one. It was a surprisingly um, <clears throat> successful live stream for Boaty as well. I, I mean, not, it shouldn't really be surprising, but he did have an awful lot of people watching, like pretty much consistently. Could have been, could have been down to the change of scenery, I suppose. It, it was jolly pleased with the yes, he was. I was going to send him a tenner for breakfast, but his PayPal address is UK. Oh, UK singles are not sure the wife would understand if he's... Ah, right, I see, yeah. Uh -huh. mm. He's missed a trick there, isn't he?
Yeah, no, actually, I didn't. I, I didn't even. I couldn't even tell that he was drunk, to be honest. Uh, so we are now at one hour and fifty nine minutes and fifty six seconds. And I said I was going to open up the other can, didn't I? So that I could at least tell you what that one's like. So I'm going to do that in a second. And then... Um, I smell like a wet cat, says uh, whatever your name is there. That's an unusual smell, actually. Oh, blimey, cold, blimey, cold, blimey. Now, milky, hoppy burps, that's an unusual one. Let's get rid of this. Let's get the other can out. And get the other one out because it's going to be such an unusual, an unusually uh, difficult thing to drink whilst doing a live stream. I might as well give it a go, I don't know. I'm guessing it's going to be cold enough. Colon, colon, earlier colon, uh, Mystic Hair. What state do you live in? Asks Sophie His. I don't. I live in England. We don't have states. And I've caught up. Brilliant. Thank you very much. You uh, you've seen some weird stuff on the canal path. My mate's on. Asian man jogging down the path, crying his eyes out. Maybe he wasn't enjoying himself. Egg says hi. Hello, Egg. Let's have a sniff of this one first. It doesn't smell like the other one does. Well, the other one just smelled really, really, really hoppy. This doesn't really seem to have uh, much of it. Oh, gosh, look at the colour of that, though. Yeah, this is going to surprise you. It certainly surprised me. It's, uh... Mmm. Again, now, that really would be the kind of beer that would just get tipped away at one point because it looks wrong. A strange colour. Well, it's the same. Well, it's, it's not too difficult to do, but it's the same colour as the can. Gosh, that is weird. Well, it's... it's Mm. Cause there's so much going on with that. It's like a kind of taste strawberry straight away. Not so much lime, except for the aftertaste. It's got like a really, really big kick that makes makes um, <clears throat> stuff go on. Um, but there's kind of a coconutiness to it as well. That, well, I suppose um, you know, looking at the looking at the picture on the front there, it's like a cocktail that that makes your skull come out and your teeth as well. So if you drink it and it it makes you do that face, ready? Oh. I try it without the glass. It's good. It's really good. But it does slow you down somewhat. <laughs> Have you ever been kicked in the coconuts? <laughs> uh, mm. Where was we up to? <laughs> yeah, I'd cry if I was jogging too. Uh it's best when you see people fall into the canal. That's that's cruel. Uh, good day, Mr. Paddington. How are you and everybody else? Says Dinosaur Dad, and I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm filled up, and uh, <clears throat> I'm on another beer. Oh. I can't stop burping, and it's just great. And I'm going to I'm going to finish this live stream in a minute. You getting drunk asks Harry. No, I'm not getting drunk. I'm just enjoying the beer that I've given to me. Ah. Right, okay, Bev. Bev's off. Night all. Lovely evening. Thank you. 
for a look, tasty looking pizza. I am what? Sated now. Jogging, the single person's dogging. Ah, uh, okay. Uh. Mm. Well, that's an interesting one. Uh, 013i.53 years ago. That's an interesting name if ever saw one. Fancy giving up booze then, asks Charlotte Castleton, uh, Castleston. Not, not really. Uh, I enjoy it too much. Uh, sh sharper, Shaparous summons and stupid. I like the aftertaste of turps. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It pulls your gums back over your teeth. It does, yeah. You are slow, says uh, uh, Chaparis Simmons. Well, um, I don't know about that. Comments like that make me slow down a bit because I'm wondering where it could possibly have come from. Well, I'm starting to rot in front of the computer. I'll have a shower. Good night, all, says Black Lines. I'm going in a minute as well. Uh, there's two swans uh, nesting near, near me and they keep attacking people in cannons. Yeah, swans... Geese are quite nasty creatures, really, when you get on the wrong side of them. So it's best to... Um, well, you can't really avoid them properly, can you? But when, when, they, uh, when they have them... Oh, gosh. Ah, right. A chaper chaperist Simmons says, be quiet and then stupid. Well, because you've suggested I should do that, I'm going to not be quiet and not agree to being stupid. But in fact, tell you just how clever I really am by listing all of the academic achievements I have had in my life so far. But I don't think you'd be very interested and I would only be doing it just to annoy you. How about that? In canoes, canoes, canoes. I did wonder about that one actually, Tyler. Anyway, I guess it's time for me to go. It's been a rather fabulous, wonderful live stream here tonight. And uh, thank you very, very much, everybody, for joining me. Thank you for liking the live stream, if you have. Um, is there a place to buy your T-shirts, asks Dino Dad. Not yet, but there will be at some point, I'm sure. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everybody who has been here tonight. And uh, a, a special big thank you to the Greenwood for the moderation. It's been very, very helpful. Uh, stay hard. <laughs> yeah, see you tomorrow. I will do. I will indeed do another live stream tomorrow night. Join me or don't join me. Entirely up to you. I bet if I don't go now, that number's going to go back up again. Should we just see? It? Twenty-seven people watching. If it goes up, I'll stay. Until it, I'm going to stay until it goes down. Good night, uh, Tata, for now. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? It seems to refresh every sort of 20 seconds or something like that. Hmm. Gone down. Good night.